Hi, I'm Gary, KB9EIT with Wolf River Coils, and today we're going to show you how easy it is to install and tune our Wolf River Coil vertical antenna. This is what comes out of the box. This is the tuning part of the antenna, and this is the part that goes onto a base. Then I'm going to tighten down a couple of these just to make it a little snug for now. And then I have three 40 foot radials here, that's all this here, and I'll tighten this one down so it goes against that post. And here is the coax that we're going to use. The top one goes here, which is the driven, and this is the ground part, which is the braid of that antenna. And I'll just tighten these down. There we go. These are the three antenna elements. This one I'm not going to use today because this is only if you want the CW portion of 80. So you'll see how easy these are to put together. They just snap together. Just line up the hole, snap it together. And wait. And you put this in this one, same thing. Line up the hole. And that antenna is up and ready to go. With the coax connected, I hooked up an MFJ antenna analyzer. Now this, in my application, is two clicks down from the top. So every time you move this collar, it'll actually click. And you can hear that. So this is just two clicks from the top. And with these two pieces up here, okay, this is just two, one click down from the top. And you can see there's 20 meters. Uh, 14,195. Let's see what we get while we're out of band. And we're out of band. So you can see the whole band is dead flat. Let's go to 30 meters. Okay, I moved that down about uh, eight clicks, and here's uh, 30 meters, 1.3, and again, that would be the whole band. Okay, I moved that down about another 10 clicks, and you can see there's uh, 40 meters, and let's see if we get two to one. That's out of band, under two to one, and way out of band. So again, you can see it covers the whole band on 40 meters. Let's go to 80. Okay, I moved the collar to the very bottom of the antenna. And you can see under 2 to 1, you get uh, 3717 to 3886. So that's quite a bit of band space on that. So one quick thing, if you're uh, checking this with a meter, you'll see I'm about 5 feet away. If I get close to this, you'll see that I'll actually detune this. So uh, if you're trying to adjust the antenna here, it won't adjust. So I will step about 5 feet away. Now if you want to go to the CW portion, you just take this out, snap in place, the antenna is a little longer. This will get down under, under the band, so this will get you to the CW portion. Now as this is configured, this will give you 20, 30, 40, 60, and 80. If you want to go to the higher bands, we need to take one of these out. This would be kind of like a trap vertical without the trap. So we'll put this one in here and let's see where we are. i got to get the pins lined up though. There it is. Let's see where we are. One section removed and the collar at the very top. Again, there's uh, 12 meters and you can see it's very acceptable. Now this one, if you go, this will actually go down to, there you are in uh, 15 meters. So that's 12 and 15 from the very top. I moved the collar down four clicks and there's 17 meters, one to one. And again, you get the whole band, that's for sure, so. Thank you for watching this video on the Wolf River Quail Silver Bullet Vertical Antenna. We just tuned this 12 to 80 meters, and you can see it worked very, very well on those uh, bands. If you'd like further information, please visit our website, www.wolfrivercoilsllc.com. Thanks again for watching this video. I'm Gary, KB9AIT, along with my partner Terry, N9AOT, 7-3s, and thank you for watching.